And so now he's talking about the great plan that God had, one thing he wanted to achieve, one goal that he had, and everything in the Bible has been pointing to this one achievement. And so now the Lamb's book of life is opened by the Lamb. He's the only one that's worthy to open it. He's the only one that can open it. And John, when he sees the cry come at the end of time, after the church ages, he he hears a cry, says, who will come and open the book? And nobody's found worthy. And John begins to weep because John realizes if nobody's worthy, Everything in that book is lost. And John knew he was in that book. And John realizes everything, all of creation and everything in that book is lost if nobody can come and take, forward, take, take the book. Amen. That's why you and I, and we stand here at the end of time. Amen. The seventh angel's already been here. He's already come and gone. And this book has to be opened. And the seals have to be revealed at the time of that seventh angel. And if that book was not open and Christ did not come down with the open book during the life of William Branham, amen, then everything is lost. It is our only hope, amen. But this is why we shouldn't be weeping like John, amen, because we saw him come forth and take the book and open the seals, and we understood it one night after another, after another, after another, when he would come and bring the revelation of those seals. What was it? The lamb opening the book. What was opening the book? Revealing the seals. What was revealing the seals? Revealing Christ. Amen. And because of that, we should be like John, amen, all heaven and all on earth and all under the earth heard me rejoicing, amen, singing, worthy and honor and praise be unto him that sitteth on the throne. He come and he took the book, amen. So when he took the book, Brother Bram uses all kinds of terminology. He tore off the seals. He threw them down to the seven church age messenger. He gave them to the, to the, to the bride, to the church. Uh, he come down with the open book in his hand. There's all ways to describe this, but it's all one and the self same thing. Amen. If you get the open book, you get Christ. If there's no more seals on the book, then Christ is here in full measure. What was keeping Christ from the people? What was keeping Christ from the people was the denominational change that had the Holy Ghost bound for nearly 2,000 years. But in the evening time, is loosed by the evening time message. The Holy Ghost back in the people again. What's the Holy Ghost? The life of that word. The life that was in Christ. Amen. Now coming back into the church. When's it coming back into the church? At the opening of the seals. Because at the opening of the seals is the fullness of Christ unveiled here, present. Amen. 